It's a nice fall day. I just finished doing some wild mushroom foraging. I've got a whole bundle of these things and I wanna cook up something fresh and super simple right here in the woods. But I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to just quickly whip up a batch of fresh wild mushrooms. So all I'm doing is just cleaning these up really quick before I get them ready for the pan. All right, so number one, it's actually kind of calming that. One of the main things that you wanna make sure you do with all mushrooms is sear them really, really well. So I want this pan hot. If you get that pan to like a medium temperature and slowly bring it up when there's mushrooms in it, or if the pan's hot and you kind of overcrowd it with food, Everything in it, especially mushrooms, they start to sweat. And we don't want these things to sweat because when they sweat, they lose their moisture and they start getting this really sort of slimy texture to them. And while I wait for this pan to heat up, I'm just gonna cut my mushrooms and I'll show you how to cut them to get the most surface area on them when you sear them so that they develop that really nice rich brown color and have a really cool texture to them as well. Cut the mushroom perfectly in half. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score lines in it diagonally about every eighth inch apart and then I'm gonna turn the mushroom and go perpendicular to those lines and just do the same thing. So I've got these nice little squares and they caramelize really nicely, they get crispy. All right, I'm assuming this pan is hot. So I'm gonna get a decent amount of oil in there. So I'm gonna just put these things cut side down into my hot pan. Ow! Watch out for those oil splashbacks. All right, so these guys are in the pan, they're sizzling away. I'm not gonna touch these things. I don't wanna jostle them around or anything. I just wanna let them get a really good sear and cook well. I'm gonna wait until I start seeing the cook rise to about half, three quarter of the way, and then I'll start to manage them a little bit here. And that's it. Like I'm not seasoning at this stage or anything because the salt will start to make the mushrooms sweat and uh, bring out some of that moisture. And right now I want that moisture to get sealed inside of the mushroom. So I'm just gonna let them sear until they brown up really nicely. The smell that mushrooms have in general, especially wild mushrooms is sort of, you can't really mistake it for anything else. It's just that warm, cozy kind of aroma that smells like the forest. So they're now starting to look like I've got a really good crust on the bottom side and they look like they're starting to heat up really good on the inside and they're sweating a little bit on the top. So I'm gonna take these guys and, uh, and start flipping them. So what I'm looking for on that bottom side is just a really good brown caramelization and crust and for those little score marks that I made to start getting really nice and crispy. So I'm just gonna hold this one down. Sometimes the mushrooms, if they're longer like this, they wanna arc a little bit as they cook. So I'm just gonna hold this one down for a couple seconds to get a really good sear in that middle section as well. So now I'm gonna give these things a flip and just get some browning done on the other side. But they're pretty darn close to being cooked through. I'm just doing this for color's sake. And now's the time to season these things as well. So all these cool little grooves that are now etched into the side of the mushroom, they're going to catch the seasoning really well. So I can get some salt in there and some pepper. So I'm gonna crack some pepper in there and sprinkle some salt. Those mushrooms are almost done. We're gonna give them another minute on the heat. And uh, I've got a piece of focaccia here. So I'm gonna cut this up, toast it. We'll put the mushrooms on top. So our mushrooms are looking just perfect. They've got a really nice color on them. And all I'm gonna do is, I've got my fresh butter here. So I'm just gonna take this off the heat. This pan is still super hot. If you're using a carbon or a cast pan, it'll stay hot for a long time. So I'm just gonna hit the pan with a little bit of butter, mix it around all pretty like, and with the remaining butter that's in the pan, I'm just gonna toast up a couple pieces of bread really quick, and then we'll plate this thing up. Toast is done. I'm gonna remove them from the pan and get them on our plate. And uh, what I like to do is get them on top of my toast. And I've got this crunchy, crispy chili oil. You can find different versions of this in a lot of Asian grocery stores, but it's a chili oil with this crispy, savory, chunky chili stuff going on inside. It has a ton of flavors to it, a touch, of a dark soy sauce and that 
finishes out the plating. And there it is, super simple, fresh forage mushrooms on toast, done a little bit different, but this is my favorite way to just enjoy the simplicity of a fresh forage mushroom, matsutake on toast. into this right now like and subscribe hit the blog post link below smash the plus like subscribe cry subscribe button thank you